Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button, see our new videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Etoro. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did fall quite uh, a bit today and then rallied. So we did not test the 20 exponential, but the uh, last time we have been testing the 20 exponential, we have basically been bouncing off it. So we could see another day where we fall towards the 20 and then bounce on the third day. If we break below the 20, that opens the door to the 50 down here at the 1981 and break below that, that opens the door all the way down towards 90. If we manage to rally from here, then we'll go and test these previous highs at 92.46. And then we are going to most likely test the 200 moving average. A break above the 200 moving average, well, that could send the US dollar significantly higher in the coming weeks and months. And that will have major effects on commodities, precious metals and indices and so on. So let's look at oil. So oil did fall all the way down to the 50 moving average last week. And since then, we have been slowly rallying up towards the 20 exponential. At the current stage, we're still trading underneath the 20 exponential and we have not really made a move towards the 20 exponential yet. So we're trading at 61.23 and uh, technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is very bearish at this point. So we're still about zero. We're still in this uptrend, but we have this major move to the downside. This is a move of 9%. And uh, I do not really buy that we are going to see this just pop in a V-shape recovery all of a sudden. I think at some point we are most likely going to see a retest of the 50 moving average and then go higher if we are going to go higher break below the 50 that probably opens up the door to 55 and probably all the way down to 50. So that was to be seen. We're not even there yet. The 50 moving average has offered a massive amount of support. So um, we are still in this trade around between the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential. However, other technical indicators like that the stochastic is turning around, They're crossing the signal line, signal line now. The CCI is basically flat at this point, and the RSI is fairly bearish at this current stage. So if you manage to take out the 20 exponential, well, that opens the door to these previous highs at this uh, 67.91 and probably to $70. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas made a fairly big move towards the 20 exponential, um, and um, it is... It is just more of the same. We have been falling, rallying towards the 20 exponential, falling, rally, and falling and rally. So we are right in this area of the 200 moving average. We have been testing the 200 moving average now for basically six uh, consecutive days. We have not managed to break below the 200 moving average um, significantly and have been trading, uh, trending underneath. We have basically, the last time we was basically here, and uh, then we basically rallied above. And at this current stage, it looks like we're going to test the 20, expon uh, 20 exponential again around to 2.65. And uh, whether or not we get rejected there, if we do, then we'll head back to the 200. If we rally above that, then we have the 50 moving average right above. So there's quite a lot of resistance above here. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all turning around. We're still in negative territory here in the MACD, and it looks like we are going to cross the signal line in the next few trading session. Stochastic has crossed the signal line, the CCI is uh, becoming bullish, and the RSI is technically flat at this point. So it is not a very nice place to be uh, right here because we can break really hard to the downside. We can also go and rally up towards the 50 moving average at 2.7. So let's look at copper. So copper is just sticking around here at the 20 exponential. We did fall to you know, on Thursday towards the uh, well bay lower part of the 20 exponential and then we basically rallied. At this current stage, we're trading at the 4.14. Technical indicators are all turning around except the MACD, which is still 
bearish at this point. It's still underneath the signal line. Well, everything else is basically pointing to higher levels. The 20 exponential has offered massive support. So it looks like we're either going to grind slowly towards these previous highs or we're going to see a rally up towards the very highs. A break below the 20 opens the door to the 50 all the way down to 3.8. So let's look at gold. So gold is also finding it really difficult here at the 20 exponential. Um, we have been testing in the la last uh, five trading days and it looks like we are going to roll over here and head towards 1700 and probably these previous lows. Technically, they are slowly turning around. We are still in negative territory here in the MACD. Stochastic is turning around across the signal line and um, RSI, CCI, sorry, is still bullish and the RSI is flat. So momentum looks like it is dwindling and we are most likely going to roll over here and head towards um, the 1700 level or the 1680 level. A rally above the 20 exponential that could open the door to the 50 at the 1788. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar here. We have tried to rally up towards the 50 and 20 exponential and have been rejected numerous times here. And now it looks like we are going to roll over and head back to $25. We have not managed to break above these moving averages. If we do, we'll probably head towards the 27 and a half. But technical negators, they are very flat. There is very little momentum to the upside. It looks more like we're going to head south towards $25 and the 200 moving average at $24. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has found quite a lot of support at the 50 moving average. We have seen this move several times in the past we have occasional broken down below the 50 moving average and then rallied significantly however this is a fairly bullish candlestick we broke down towards the 50 and then rallied technical leaders are still very bearish so just keep that in mind that it may take a few trading days before if we are going to see a rally here before that will happen so if we manage to rally here we need to take out the 20 exponential and the these previous highs of 1200 and and 29 give or take before we go to 1300 break below the 50 moving average could open the door to 1100 and even lower towards the 1000 so let's look at pallium so pallium had this a massive move last week where we basically broke out of this square so this just basically get rid of this now we can uh, say that the previous highs at uh, 2.5 that most likely will become our support now so this will probably drift towards the 2.5 level where we'll intercept with the 20 exponential moving average and then it will, ra will rally higher technically leaders they are well uh, well fairly bearish at this point to, to be very honest we were significantly outside of the bullish band so we needed to a break significantly lower before be able to go higher this kind of momentum just does not um, sustain for a very long time we need to basically pull back towards the 20 exponential or the 20 moving average down here at a give or take you know, 2.5 or 2.4 before going higher we are trading at 2.6 at the current stage so we went all the way down to 2.5 on on um, this given day and uh, yes at this point, we will most likely drift lower before we go higher. Technical indicators like the stochastic, CCI, and the RSI are fairly bearish, while the MACD is still bullish at this current stage. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium had a massive rally, uh, and now we're way outside of the bullish band here with this fairly negative candlestick. At this point, it is most likely what we're going to see is a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band at 2.172. Technical leaders are still very bearish at this current stage, but usually we can see right here when we go outside of the bullish band, we fall quite aggressively towards the middle of the bullish band before rallying. So we have been rallying. It has been really choppy trading aluminium the last few trade few weeks, but 
this is a very encouraging candlestick, uh, but we are getting way up ahead of ourselves. We basically need a pullback before uh, going uh, towards uh, 2.5. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has uh, shown a little bit of momentum to the upside towards the 20 exponential, not um, um, a lot, but these technical indicators are slowly turning around. So we can see that the MACD is going to cross the signal line in the next few days. CCI, uh, the stochastic has crossed the signal line, CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is becoming bullish. So 200 moving average offered quite a lot of support down here. We'll just uh, test is going to be whether or not we are going to get rejected at the 20 exponential when we test it, and probably also the 50 when we're going to test that. If that happens, then we'll head back towards the 200 moving average and we'll see a lot of choppiness at the uh, base D in this uh, in nickel. So at the current stage, it is also, yes, possible to trade it, but still uh, fairly, fairly risky. So let's look at sugar. So sugar continues to break down, and at this current stage, it looks like we're going to head at least towards the bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.1512 before going towards the 200 moving average. Rallies at this point towards the 20 and the 50 have been sold into. We can see one here and see one there. Basically been sold into every time we have rallied up towards these moving averages. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. There's a lot of room to the downside still before uh, we get into oversold territory. We're getting into an area where there was previous a lot of support around the 0 0.1450. So yes, we are at this current stage in a fairly massive downtrend. Rallies are most likely going to be sold into. So let's look at cotton. So cotton as well, also continuing to uh, trend downwards. We're trading underneath the 50 moving average at this point. Technical indicators are very bearish for cotton. If we manage to rally above the 50, we then we have the 20 at 0 0.83, uh, 86, uh, 39, and uh, Yes, we'll most likely also see uh, these rallies be sold into. We can see this one and this one, uh, both of them been sold into when we have tried to rally. So it looks like we are going to trend lower towards 0 0.8, but it is to be seen. There will be quite a lot of support around 0 0.8275. And uh, yes, that is about it. So let's look at Kukoa. So Kukoa. Same thing, it is just basically all over the place. We're trading at the highs here of 2.8, the very lows here at 2.2, and then we have this mid range of 2.6, and this uh, lower range here, 2.3. At the moment, we're testing the 200 moving average, which is offering quite a lot of support, and we are basically bouncing off the 200 moving average. So above, we have the 50 and the 20, and if we manage to rally above those, then we could head towards the 2.6. Technical indicators, they are still, well, basically all over the place. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish, while the CCI and the uh, MACD are bearish at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is continuing to trend uh, lower. We are basically reaching the bottom of the bullish band here, and that is going to make this a rally towards the 20 exponential and the 50. And we have seen Every time we basically rallied towards the 20 exponential and the 50, we have basically been sold into. So at this current stage, we'll most likely continue with this trend towards the 600, where we'll have the 200 moving average moving in this direction, and it will probably not bounce uh, significantly until we get to the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are all very bearish at this current stage. So yes, it does not really look very good for weed at this, uh, at this point. We are still, well, we have, were in a massive up, uptrend. It looks like we are um, trading more sideways now and now we're heading into a, a dive towards 600. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over here at eToro. So good luck and thank you very much.